Good morning. It's Tuesday morning. It's about 8 o'clock in the morning. We just had our first night there and in the hotel. The, be the bed was actually very, very comfortable. Um, com you know, compact. The shower was actually quite well uh, fit for purpose, uh, even though it was like a weird cubicle type setup, but it was very good. Today, what I'm going to have in store for us is a uh, walk around Belfast. I'm going to head up towards uh, the Shank Hill Road, Falls Road, and hit a few uh, tourist points around here. Um, and then we'll be heading out to the hockey game. So the weather is, as you can see, it's, uh, it's a wet, rainy day. So it'll impact a little bit, but it won't stop me from vlogging and showing you what we have to offer in Belfast City. Hello, just had a coffee and a pineapple piece and then we had a breakfast at McDonald's and then I was just walking around. I just came up on this crown entry. It's uh, Rebellion and Freedom in the Air, plans laid down, so Crown Tavern. Uh, faced into the high street is popular for all kinds of social and business gatherings. It's said that here a small group of radical Presbyterian merchants formed the United, uh, Society of United Irishmen in 1791. And let's see what walk down here. They have murals here. It looks pretty nice. Get my with his little face there. Just keeping you along with for the ride. Like I said, I don't know where I'm going around, just gonna walk around. There's a few spots I want to hit, and then around 10 o'clock or so, I'll be heading my way towards the Shank Hill and the Falls Road. It doesn't look like much here. It just I don't know if it opens up to something or I would see where are we go. There's the square so crown entry. Hmm. Not really sure what that is, so let's just keep walking around here. There's Poundland, which is deals in the Republic. Shops are still closed, they're getting ready. A few shops are open though, because uh, Emily's ran off to uh, Next. She said it's opened up early, so there's a trespass store. Joy's Entry Jailhouse. So let's take a look at what this is. Obviously not open yet, but just want to see what it looks like. It looks really neat. Henry and the jailhouse. Wow. Looks pretty cool. Henry joined the Kraken. That was interesting. Wonder where this goes now. Wonder if this goes back the same way I came. This looks nice. Sides. Wow. It's magical. This is cool. Very cool. Now we're back on the same place as we came out before. Um, there's a sign that says to the Odyssey. So we'll be going there tonight. Probably take a taxi here around six, six-ish. 
the doors open at six and the game starts at seven and you can't go in before six so there's a nice mural on the side of the building don't know if you can see it if it picks it up beside it's a river house There's a nice big monument up ahead, so we'll take a picture, we'll take a gander at that and see what that's all about. See, it's still early. A lot of places are still not opened up yet. So lots of little alleyways that go back and forth between these two roads. Here's a little. Little's very popular in Wexford. Although there's one in Wexford, but there's three Aldi's in Wexford Town, so I prefer the fruit and veg from the uh, little. But the rest of the stuff I like Aldi for. And I like the fact that no matter where you are, which store, you know where the layout is and where it's going to be. So it's the ease of shopping. It doesn't seem to be raining now, which is good. Hopefully it stays off. Like. Here's a nice old building. You know, it's funny, it's a mixture of architecture. You have the real old buildings, and beside it, you can have like a modern one. But it's really nice. Look at that, looks like Art Deco on the side of that building. The tiles. Very good. There's some more murals on the side. Ulster Sports Club, established 1927. There's an interesting building at the corner. See the round top? Uh, looks like a tower at the top, but it's too big to be a tower. Let's cross over here. Queen Square Subway to Queen Square. Hmm. There's a subway. Elite Union. And then look at this big clock tower. It's very interesting. It goes all the way up there. Let's go, go across the street. And we'll take a look and we'll see the other parts of it. Let's pass over now. And here's the here's a sculpture here. Pink yolk. Capitalism kills. It says on the side. And then the Albert Clock, that's what it is. It was established in 1869. It's way up there. Go around all four sides of it. And then, uh, side and then we'll head up and see what we can see on the uh, the other side I see the uh, cranes for Haru and the Wolf so we'll take a look at that now the rain's coming here's an old building right beside the Royal Mail and then if you look as you walk it a little bit further towards the uh, you see the highway in the background, or the foreground, and then you see the Harwin and Wolf Crane in the back. The shipyard makes so many ships, including the Titanic, like I explained. And my uh, my grandfather worked at there at one point when he was living here before he had to immigrate to Canada. And here we go. There's a trough. 1859 and the fountain around it
Oh, there's Fountain. There's a big, looks like a salmon there. Take a look and see what that is. And I think if you go across the road, on the other side of the water, you see a bubble there. I think that's, is that where the Odyssey is? Or I think it's on the other side somewhere. I'm not really sure, but that's why I'm gonna take a taxi. It's just safer to be there. Look at this big fish. In the interest of safety, no climbing on the big fish. Well, I wasn't going to climb on it. It's interesting though, it's all different tiles. Take a look on the other side of it. So this is on the Belfast Key. Big buoy over there. And we'll stop it there and we'll head off to a different area and I'll pop it back on. Starting to get a little harder now. Well, you saw this common market area. I saw these two sculptures. I thought they looked interesting, so I'll show you. Here we go. We're heading back in towards the city's part. I'm gonna probably look to find a place to have a coffee, not that I want a coffee, but just to wait for the rain to subside a bit. So Gordon Street and Dunbar Street. An interesting place, Circus Okay, what do we have here? Let's just take a look. Let's see what's on this side. Let me go this way first. It's a beautiful sunny day in Ireland. We'll walk this way a bit and try to find refuge in a coffee shop for a while. Belfast Cathedral Center. Oh, there's a nice big cathedral. We'll take a look at that. Go by the front part of it and see what it has happened. A little history about my mom's family. Um, my granny was Catholic from uh, Belfast. My grandfather was from Carrickfergus, and he was a uh, Protestant. He uh, was a wealthy, had a wealthy family. He uh, grew up in India in a plantation they had, and he was in the merchant uh, marines, and he drove the, uh, the boats up onto the beach in, on D-Day. And he was lost at sea at one point, and his ship was sunk by a torpedo and him and another 11 Marines survived. After two weeks, they were rescued by a Spanish fishing boat. And, uh, well, they had, he had to immigrate to Canada because his family didn't want anything to do with him after he married my granny. And they never talked to him, except I think when on his deathbed, when he was dying in the house, his sister Annie came and saw him, uh, but that, that was it, the whole family. So he gave up a lot to be with my granny. My granny never, like, he died young. He was, I don't think he was 50 years old. And she never married or had anything else because she lost the love of her life when he passed away. 
So, so Belfast always has a special place for me, you know. There's a nice big cathedral. There's a nice square green part. Ulster University is right there. So if you want to orientate yourself, see where you are. By the cathedral here. There's a nice old building there being renovated. You can see it's a rather old building. And here's the cathedral in front. There's the cathedral, there's my favorite. Okay. <clears throat> now I'm gonna pause off. I'm gonna stop the uh, vlog now and look for something else or a place to uh, have a coffee. Building here, the Belfast Telegraph. So that'll look very interesting. The clock on the side of the building and the, the red brick really stands out. Interesting part of the city. Make my way back in. Just wanted to show you that. Let's see, there's the library beside it. Nice old buildings there, even that corner one. Look at the way it splits the street in two. Here's a nice old building, the Bank of Ireland buildings. It's a big white stone followed the opposite street. Looks like an old Tudor style. And then you have like a Joker tattoo on the side. And so we're on Royal Avenue right now and North Street. And there's a mural with eyeballs on the side of the building. And, that, and then Cafe Nero. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in there, try to dry up a little bit, have a coffee, orientate myself, find out where places I can go to that's close to us and work my way towards the falls uh, and the Shanko. Well, there's Castle Court, so that's the food court we were in. So give you an idea where we are. And then Cafe Nero. Where we can get a nice cup of coffee and try to drive. There's a nice mural on the side of the thing. What's this? Some sort of a picture. And there's another Mural, all-time favorites. So I just had a coffee at uh, at the Nero Cafe and dried off a bit, and uh, spoke to the uh, people inside, and they were, they told me basically to get the Shanko, I just had to follow this road up the North Street it becomes, and then it'll become the Shanko. So then we'll be able to walk up there and I'll show you all the sights and the murals and stuff like that. And uh, let's see if we can meet any interesting people. I'll show you uh, the Shanko Road in Belfast City. So, like I said, here's where we are. And we're just going to continue walking up in Shanko. There's the peace wall here. So, I guess we'll walk up and down here and then go up this street and then then that becomes a falls road. That's what we're gonna do. I'll keep it on. I'll probably cut some of it out if there's nothing happening to shorten it up so we don't have an extremely long video, but we'll give it our best shot. Like I said, it's still early auto shops plus just after Christmas, so I want to see the murals and stuff and 
here's the first one we're coming up to. Welcome to the Shankill Road. Looks like there could be a thumbnail here. So, it didn't take us long to get into the shank hill. It's very quick, actually. I thought it would have been a longer walk than that. But we were... Two minutes, it seems. So we'll just walk up here, take a picture, see the murals, see if anyone asks us who we are, what we're doing. We'd like to have some interaction with some of the locals. Maybe go into a shop or two. The mountains are right in the back there. They're you can see they're foggy. I don't know if the GoPro picks it up that well, but there's mist on the top of the mountains, just in the backdrop of uh, the walk up Shank Hill. Welcome to the Shank Hill Quarter. A monument, Brown Square. There's an otter up there, so we're on a flyover. There's some uh, renovation, looks like they're putting up more buildings. Just like in Wexford, there's a lot of buildings going up. No shortage of housing in Ireland. There's a Presbyterian church there. Little with tidy little houses. Original Belfast. There's a mirror on the side of the building. Four five five AD. Don't know what that replies to. Maybe if you could put in the comments what it means, I don't know. It'd be good to you know. There's a man delivering some goods. There's the bookmakers. Post office, Nisa Local. Morning. Yeah. Nice weather we have in May. Yeah. <laughs> KFC. KFCs are everywhere. There's some monuments down there, murals down there. On the side, so we'll walk up here a bit and then back down, and then I'll go across. See if we can see it. I think it's a shame that the arteries of it all has different murals along it. So it's obviously the Shank Hill is the main road, but as you see, there's murals inside where the living residences of where people live and their homes are that feed into the, uh, the Shank Hill Road. Here's a medical center. USA hand gouache. BP Eurostar.
What do you think? Oh Christ. Shanko Gospel Hall. That's a big Eurospar. Looks more like a grocery store than a convenience at a... Oh, and there's some more Euros down there. So we're definitely going to have to go to the side, to the right. So we'll walk up this road and back down. There's even some there, look. On the side of the house. Yeah, that's a pretty nice uh, spar. Shank Hill Wellbeing and Treatment Center. The common theme I think we're getting here is community. I'm just gonna see there's something up here. We'll take a look up here. Morning. 8th of May, 1945, VE Day. Very prevalent now that we have war in Ukraine and Europe. So there's a nice mural. Counting the cost. That's what uh, Putin will be doing eventually, if they don't take care of him themselves. It's an interesting uh, ceramic design on the side of the building. Better the feel good place. The Rydell Learning Center. So everything seems to be like big in community and mental wealth, uh, well being, and and support. This is what I'm getting from what I see at the buildings. Whether or not it's true or not, maybe if you're from the area where I have been, you can let me know in the comments what it's like. I was wondering what that water was coming from. She was cleaning off the balcony. So I'm going to walk all the way up to the top of here, then I'm going to come across, zigzag in the back, and then we'll cross over to the other side to the Falls Road. Your man inside the uh, store of the uh, coffee shop Cafe Nero, he told me that it runs parallel to the Shank Hill, the Falls Road. So. Rain's not too, too bad right now, so we're getting a little bit luckier with the, uh, the weather. Connor's Corner. Shank Hill Road. Let's see what's up here. Not much people about. William Connor, people's painter. And then there's a nice mural up here. It looks like a geisha in Japan. Kids playing Lampo Swinging, 1957. Men of Iron, 1922. The 12th, Wellington Place, Belfast, 1918. Cronies, Lance Corporal, Royal Irish Rifles, 1918, and fed up the 36th Ulster Division, 1916. So he's a local uh, Shanko artist, William Connor, 1881 to 1968. 
There he is right there. Even the cafes are shut. Barber's getting open, but I got my hair cut. I don't need it done. There's nice land here. There's nice land right across from where we're staying almost. There's one in Westwood. It's alright. It's like clothes and stuff. Morning. Monument, if you want to call it. Oh, there's some uh, graffiti on the side that's really nice. And then here's a, a memorandum. It says, in memory of five innocent Protestants slaughtered by the Republican murder gang. So this is against the uh, IRA, I'd say. There's some more. Very quiet, but then again, it is early on a Tuesday morning after Boxing Day or Stevens Day, whichever, which way ever way you want. Cooperative Food, Argyle Business Center, Thirty Six Ulster Division, Flanders Field. And we've got something on the other side. Rex Bar. Jeez, I guess that was the, uh, the police. It's like Christmas bubble there. Moscow Street. So there's a little pub, the Rex Bar. The Great War. So different stories of places where they fought and memorials. There's a sign I didn't say the Church of God. There's another church up ahead on the left hand side. You can see the mountains in the background just as we walk in up. There's a subway. Morning. The Royal Bar. Subways and KFCs are everywhere. And then here's another little area. And there's West Kirk Church, I guess. The little garden area on the side. There's a little memorials on the side there. Beside the church, Hugh Smith Center. I'd say that's from Remembrance Day, which is November 11th. There's the mountains there, there. so it still goes around the whole side. Mountains on the front and to the side there. Don't know if the GoPro picks it up, but there's a big church down there. Shankill Methodist Church. Lots of churches. 
and there's a mural on the side there too and then there's uh, beside him there's a, a mural it says the UVF Hustler Volunteer Force one two four and five If you look all the way back there, you can see the green wall in the back. It's the Peace Wall. So that separates uh, the Falls Road from Shank Hill. And it's locked. Those walls are locked at night. And they're only opened up in the morning. So in order to get from one side to the other, you'd have to go by the main streets. You can't walk through. There's a nice old building there. I don't know what that is. Let's go take a look at that old building. I like old buildings. They're really nice. There's some more murals. Let's see what this big old building is. We'll go wreck around. I don't think it's in use anymore. Nelson Memorial Church. Judging by the foliage, foliage on the roof, I don't think it's in use. No. Shame it's an old building like that. So we're gonna walk up here and go to the right and get back up onto the Shanko and then keep going up towards the mountain and then cross over to the right. We'll see the other side. See if I can see a few more murals and then we'll cut across to the Falls Road. Established in 1980, Shanko Protestant Boys Flute Band. So that's for the commemorations they do on the 12th. And then S Company of the UVF. Ulster Rangers Supporters Club. Okay, wonder how much further this goes. There's another Baptist church now. And then you see the mountains in the background. Spectrum Center. And then if you look at the end there, that's the Falls Road, the green wall for the Peace Wall. It runs the length to keep the Two sides separated. You wonder if it'll ever be totally free. It's been a lot better since the troubles and the Good Friday Green, but it always is a kindling of flame going there. There's another mural on the side. Yeah, there's always a kindling of the flame of a potential spark. Right now it's to do with Brexit. And the border tax, and so here's one here, and then this one here. Starting to rain again. But I think we're coming to sort of an end. What I'll do is, I've seen a few murals on the other side in the, uh, the estates. Might go try to find them. And then we'll make our way towards the Falls Road and see the other side. And you can see the contrast, the two differences. Each saying what their uh their point of view is so let's see here's the sign so right now we're up here so technically i could go this way and come down no here's here's the falls road so that no um there's a memorial here and here's the estate where we have to go back so what i'll do 
we'll keep up here and then I'll walk back down we'll go into the estates here see those three monuments and then we'll walk back up cut across and there's the Falls Road on North Northumberland Street okay so we got a plan we'll walk a little bit ways here go back down see the estates and the church and then cut across where the Northern Ireland supporters come. Really nice. A little rubbish there. I don't like rubbish. And we're just walking up here. This is a group of people up there. Looks like a funeral up ahead. Yeah. So we'll cross over. Don't want to interrupt the uh, funeral processions. It's a thing, we're all here for a finite period of time, so it's best to make the best of it while you can, you know. Morning. There's another garden, it's closed. Oops. Some graves in there as well. It's a funeral home to the left there, so we're walking the inside. We're gonna go up here and then we'll come back down. Supposedly there's a few more spots around here to look at. There's a gun here. There's a Remembrance Day display with a big cannon. Garden of Reflection, the Royal Navy, Shanko Psalm Association, Mountain View Tavern. This is an interesting looking church. And then you have bamboo, Chinese takeaway, love tan. Authentic Indian cuisine. Like everything's shuttered up so it's hard to see what's open and what's not. Like if it's just open for later on or if it's closed permanently. Okay, so here's a... I don't know what that rock's for. St. Matthew's Parish Church. Like you said, it's an interesting design. I think that's about it. We're gonna walk up to the top of this road, come back down, cut across. Like I said, a lot of this, I'll cut up some of this stuff. It's starting to rain a little bit again. Cost cutters. Bookmakers. Morning. All right. I think that's about it. We head back down. Once again, at the top of this road, anyways, and try to find those uh, the church and the three murals. Then we'll cut across and see the other side and what they have to offer. Morning. Morning. UPS for sale. <laughs> I think 
that's about does it. We'll see what it says at the top here. Body shop. Now, little be known, like when you're walking up and you're not really paying that much attention, you're actually going uphill quite a ways. You see when we turn around to go back down, if it is as high, but you can see the mountains in front there, they're covered a bit of smog as it is. And let's see. And then there's a church here. Looks like a big garden there. You have access to it. Some kids play an area and a sculpture. Gonna have to stop and clean my glasses soon because I can't see, so I'll probably walk back down that way. Go into one of the little shops. Get a bottle of Coke Zero maybe. Just for refreshment. Or maybe some water, we'll see. That's a nice decoration. Merry Christmas. I love these old Georgian style houses. See the mountains through the trees. And we'll see what this says here. I think that's about the end of it here. I think there was, there might be a couple of murals that said, but I think you get the idea of what they're all about, but few lint and traditional family butchers. And there's our church. And then walk way back down. You see what this monument is and then we'll head back. Shanko stronger together. It's the second like Japanese themed mural. Okay so let's head back down. I'm gonna turn off the uh, GoPro for a bit. Try to wipe up my glasses and we'll see if we can find a place to get a drink. Talk to maybe locals a bit. So, bye for now. I was just talking to a gentleman as I was walking down there. Nice conversation. We're just talking about the weather and, you know, how it's changed in his lifetime. He remembered used to having a shovel to get out at Christmas and they don't no longer have snow. I explained that we always had snow, except for one time, I think, in Canada. Here's a mother church. I think I saw a mural up here, so that's why I just decided to deviate and run down here. See what that says, and then I'll get back onto the, the main thoroughfare and head back down. They're all nicely decorated, these homes. Another more affluent area. And then here, what's this? Civil and Religious Liberty Hall for All. Big smokestack in the background by that big building. Let's see what that's. Take pride in your history and culture, it says. As I was walking down, I seen this little memorial here so I figured I'd stop there because they're the funeral home they're actually walking the casket down this Shanko Road so I'll give them some time to make their own way so so this is a uh, Brian Herbie McCallum okay head back down continue on the trek here's the First Shankill Sum Association. So I figured I'd walk into this garden and it's off for us at the other one we just seen. If 
gives you an idea what it's about. It's a little garden. There's And then all the different poppies with names of people that died in the Psalms, I guess. There's another symbol of Pachanko at the Rangers Football Club. Missed that on the way we were walking up. And there's a couple more churches, you see one there and there. And then we'll keep walking on. There's one I missed across the road. The Elster Tower. Opened on November 1921. So we missed that. That was right beside the subway and the West Kirk Chapel or church. And then we'll just keep going on. And I'll change the battery now to a little stop. Morning. So we're just keeping walking down here. So this is where the Rex bar is. We're going to be walking up and turning to the left up ahead. And we should be able to see. Three more monuments. There's a monument that we missed of uh, Queen Elizabeth. We're marking her passing. Yep. 1926 to 2022. Fair amount of life. Here's. There's your man, the butcher on the top there, Sam. changed over the uh, the battery we're gonna keep on going okay so here we walk down the, this is st. Michael's Parish another church it's in like a green area just off the shank hill and then I think if we continue on back there's gonna be the three monuments so just wanted to show you this here's a little monument here we're inside the residential area just off the shank hill Nothing about us without us is for us. Housing executive. And then continue on straight. Then you see there's a mural on the house there. Shank Hill Parade. Another hall. We're walking up. Here's a little green area. Looks like car park. Oh, I missed that one. King William III, 1690. And then would have missed that. I we wouldn't have. We would have come back this way. But you never know. Might take a turn to the right. Seems like there's a couple of murals here. There's supposed to be three, I think they said. Unless that's considered one, two, three, but we'll see. And then we'll head off. It'll be the Falls Road before we know it. What's this one to the right, left hand side of me here? Let's see what this is. Looks like a map. Shank Hill Road, The Lost Streets. So basically, this explains the area. As a mural. And then here we go. We're walking up this way. And then there, see, there's one there, one there. Something there. And then we should be heading off to see the other side. Remembering with pride. 
1st, April 1970, 24th of September 2000. three young militants. West Belfast Brigade, C Company, Shank Hill Road. Then there's something here in that wall. It's a nice, nice little estate though. UFF, UDA, and Young Ulster Militants. I have to say, I never heard of the Young Ulster Militants. With UDA, UFF, and UVF. And we're walking back down. See one more, and then I think we're heading to the falls. I'll turn it off when we get close. It's a black taxi tour. Yeah, and there's two more here, and then we'll head off and we'll be on the other side. Yeah, see, there's a couple of black taxi tours. You can take that when you're uh, in, El in Wexford, or when you're in Wexford, in Belfast, sorry. Um, I can leave the link below um, for the uh, black taxi tours. They're usually around 35 to 70 euros or pounds, depending on the length of that and how many people. I haven't taken it myself because I wanted to experience it on my own, but if you're wanting to, you know, do it a little easier, you know, protect it in the taxi, you go into different areas, you know, not that it isn't safe, like you've seen yourself, uh, you know, I'm able to walk up and down it with no bother. It's, like I said, this is the in the hall, the um, the heart of loyalist Belfast, the Shank Hill. You can't get much more loyalist than Shank Hill Road. And then we'll go on the other side, and you won't get much more Republican than the Falls Road. Thank Lord, thank you, angels. I think they're people that lost their lives. And then we'll community rescue service. So I guess that's the version of the RNLI. Yeah, the lifeboats, helicopters. And then we have one more final monument and then we'll head back down and then hook up to the falls road so this is uh, lieutenant colonel william bucky mccullough uff uda so, we'll take a look at that this one's a little bit in tattered the bottom parts are coming off so it needs a little bit of a facelift Now we'll make our way towards the Falls Road. So this is why we're exiting the last place. We're getting up to the Kentucky Fried Chicken on the Shank Hill. So I'll show you, see all the housing estates. They sort of have these placards marking the territory. You know, you see what the contrast difference is between the Shank Hill and then the, uh, the Republican side on the Falls Road. But pretty much, I guess it'd be about the same, just opposite. I think they have just about as much murals and memorials as they do on this side, Boundary Walk. Okay, so now we have to find our way 
to the falls. Now, I'll stop this for a second and I'll look at my map. Okay, so this is the Northumberland Road. Well, it connects Shankill to the uh, the fall, uh, falls. There's another church there, Free Presbyterian Church. And there's another one up there. Here's the uh, when they had the funeral. This is what they brought the coffin in, the old traditional style with the black horse. As I was walking by up the road, the man at the uh, fireworks shop, he said, geez, you're walking up and down. He's seen me and I said, oh yeah, I'm just vlogging. I'm in Belfast. He said, oh, where are you from? Canada? And he said, yeah, yeah. Originally, I said, didn't give him too much information. And uh, I said, yeah, I'm just, you know, showing up to Shank Hill. I said, now I'm going to head to the falls. And then he said, turn to turn. He said, well, I wouldn't do that there. And he derogatory saving about that and, and I said nah I said, I'm just showing both sides and I want to see the city of Belfast and take on a hockey game and he was very pleasant enough in that but you could tell that there was no love lost between him and the people at the cliff hundred couple hundred yards away on the Falls Road so here's another church on the left It's an old traditional style. Doesn't look like it's been used. No, nope. a lot of moss, a lot of green moss. I'd say it's very close to the, the border too, so. Yeah, there's not even a sign up. And then keep walking up here. Like I said, it's, it's not a far walk from the Shank Hill to the falls. It's just you have to go at this stretch of road, which is probably about, say, 250 meters long. Northumberland Street, there it is. And here's some more murals on the side of the wall. Crossing over, you can see the uh, fences. So during trouble times and that, these get closed off, and there was checkpoints. So you go from one checkpoint to the other. See the road closes. There's some murals on the side. Here's another last bit. Shank Hill. Peace day every day. And now you're in West Belfast. So now you're on the other side. Here's another set of doors. So now you're officially in the Republican side. So now we'll see what the difference is between the two. Morning. Hello. How are you? There's some murals on the side of this wall. I'll go even up to the Falls Road. We'll just so, Solidarity POWs. Battle of the Falls. Build homes now. The workers' party. Free for O'Callaghan. 
Bubble. It's for the Irish language. Bubble Community Service. So they have the same thing with the uh, RNOI that we've seen on the uh, the Shanko side. You can see all the different murals as we're walking up. And then here's the hunger strikers. There's Nelson Mandela. Palestine. And then here we are. We've arrived to oh, sorry, to the left. I carry on, and that'll take you into the city center. Here's some more murals. Walk along here, and then I'll come up, and I'll go up. Block you Cuba. Falls Commemoration Committee. Bobby Sands. Unity in our time. The hunger, the blanket man, hunger strikers. Maybe it'd be a good one for see that. I don't know if that's a good one. We'll probably find another one a little bit nicer. We'll see. We'll walk up to the Fellows Road now. Coming out Che Guevara. Very near and dear to me, both him and Bobby Sands. And then we'll walk up. So that was like a wall of murals, so you can see it. Not really the same as they had up in the Shanko site, but I think they have murals there. And they're also in other estates there, because I know I had a cousin of mine lived in the, the Short Strand, and there was a Republican site and then a, a Loyalist site, and there was a big wall separating them, and they have all sorts of murals around there. So there, there's murals throughout in different encampments and I could see a picture of Bobby Sands up ahead. I think that'll be a good one for a potential um, thumbnail. Here's Greg's. Greg's has some good stuff. Let's see, maybe we'll get a bite to eat there later. See what time it is. Because what I'll do is I'll probably vlog all the way up to the falls and I might take a uh, taxi back towards the uh, the hotel because I've been walking a fair bit today getting a little tired and I don't want to burn myself out too much because we have the hockey game coming up tonight liquor store bar and lounge and then Yeah, I think I remember being here. I've been, I was here before. 
back in 2001 I did a, a tour with one of my cousins his nickname is Bugsy and uh, he took me around and we seen a lot of the murals so you see here's murals and remembrance posters and signs and paintings of along the wall Here's the Falls Leisure Center. So you see you have two leisure centers pretty much opposite each side. If you go on the other side up to North Amberwood, turn left, and on the right hand side there's a big huge leisure center. So they have to have two separate ones. And there's the uh, Garden of Remembrance. We'll cross over there. And I'll see if I can get a picture of that and then we'll go up there for Bobby said. But I think it looks closed. We'll see. How close we can get if not i can yeah it's locked up but we'll take a look at see if we can get inside there so here's and there's the uh, falls road uh, the map on the wall and then the honor roll of the garden it's too pity it's locked up. We can't get in. Let's see if I think I... So we work our way up. And here's a H block memorial. There's a uh, drugs can throw, but they also kill. Hello. Hello. See, the, there's, a, there's a huge tourist draw for Belfast now, so there is an economy base. Like, like I said, if you look up online, you can see the black taxis, and there's tons of different tours available. So that brings money, people, and, and I see a lot of tourists that are around taking the tours spending money in the city so this the city has had an increase whereas back during the times of the troubles and before that you know it was basically a no-go area and they lost out on a lot of you know potential revenue and stuff and but it is nicer now that there is you know peace here now there's still issues around the July uh, 12th commemorations. And also with the border pole, uh, border pole and the Brexit and what's happening in the UK. You know, Scotland wanting out now. They just left Europe. And then you had the war with Ukraine, which followed uh, after that. And then all of a sudden you've seen the uh, the you know the positive sides of being in a Europe with the United Europe. There's a Bobby Sands poem. Carnegie Branch Falls Road. Here's another black taxi guy doing a tour. Let's see if I get There we go. So there's Bobby Sands. That's the main one. And here's the Sinn Fein office shop it's closed right now Gale School so that's an Irish language school
Chapel of Adoration. It's a nice building. Again, it's locked up. So you wonder if it's for the times that we're in it or just after Christmas. Anyways, if you know, you can put a comment in below there for me. Let me know if these shops are usually open as much or so well. Here's a premier place where you can get coffee and convenience store. It's G A C. Here's the Patty Powers. And then there's a mural here. So we have Sean McDermott, executed by the British for his role in Easter Uprising. And then we have the Ancient Order of Iberians, Belfast Division, 1958. Pub there. Cross over. You see a uh, nice little park area there. In fact, a statue of a boxer and then a fountain. So maybe we'll go in there. I'm just gonna walk up this part a bit. Find out who the boxer is. Greens, quality furniture and hardware. Want a brush? Laundry, barber shop in there, Boyle's Bar. It's closed, obviously still too early. Let's see if we can get in there. I don't, it doesn't look like it's opened. Like it's the, 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 the gates on the it looks closed. Waterford Street. Stradfordalica. Oh yeah, it is open. Let's cross over. And we'll take a look at the park. And we'll come keep going up that way. And then I think see how far the Falls Road goes. I don't think it's as long as the Shanko. But we'll start off with the Boxer. Because I'll probably cut this part when we walk up to it. Okay, here we are at the Boxer. John Cal is Caldwell, 1938 to 2009, in recognition of his achievement in boxing. Olympic bronze medalist for Ireland in 1956 and world bantamweight champion 1961. And then I'll show you this part here. It's a nice little park for kids to play in. And then we'll walk down to the fountain or that monument that's in the middle. And then we'll continue on back up the Falls Road. The rain has stopped predominantly, so we're lucky that way. And here's a like a mugga inside there with the uh, high fence in there to practice probably football. And by football I mean GA football because it has the posts where the, with the goals. They also have soccer nets so they probably play soccer too. I'm not a big fan of the old soccer ball. I love ice hockey myself. I like GA, I like football and hurling. 
nice little fountain of some sort. I don't know what it's for. Let's see, we'll walk around and see if we can see a pack of some sort. But there's no water coming off it, but it probably did in, the, in its heyday. And then we'll make our way back up to the Falls Road to the end and then take a taxi back to the hotel and relax a bit. So this was erected in 1892. Doesn't really say what it is. So if any of you know, please comment in the below and tell me what this was for. So it's a park that's just in the Falls Road, opposite Boyle's Bar, where it has the statue of the boxer. Now we'll make our way back up and continue on the Falls Road that way. Good morning. All right, now we're back on the Falls Road. There's the barbers there. The barber shops seem to be open today, a few places. Not a lot much else, though. So. Like I said, it's 11 o'clock now, so if they were opening, they would be open, I think. Other than maybe, you know, other than maybe, uh, the bars and that which might open up after 12 or so. so Chinese right way there. Falls Road Pharmacy. Subway. Subways are everywhere. Taking over the world. Here's the uh, Royal Hospitals. Let's take a shot. We're walking up here, and then there's a chapel there. So this is the hospital to the left here. I wonder if this is the hospital where my mom was born. Cavendish Square. We'll cross over. And take a look at this. There's Jesus on the cross. There's a nice bus there. Translink glider. Geez, it could fit some people in that. Look at the length of it. When I first saw it, it looked like a train. There's a church, chapel, I should say. And then, Oh yeah, here he is. Take a look. St. Paul's Church. I wonder if that's the broker house. Where the, look at the bollards they have there, it goes up and down. 
pastoral center. And the side entrance. Very interesting. And then, see the mountains in the background, you guys better picture. I don't know if the GoPro picks it up as well. Oh, I mean, there's a mural here. Let's walk up that way. See if we can see what this mural is. See that nice house up in the, the mountains there. I don't know if you could see it. It's a lovely view. Hello. Cavendish Square. And then here's a little convenience store, I think. Coffee shop. Vivo Essentials. Michael Conlon, the beehive. Violet Street. There we go. Now we'll head back up and turn to the right and we'll keep going. Now they're separated by a couple hundred meters. Now there does seem, from my point of view anyways, there seems to be a bit of a difference in the, um, the feel of the streets. 